did you know? A landowner has flooded the infamous grassy home of the Teletubbies because she's sick of tourists trying to visit the iconic set. The sloping hill on a private field in Wimpstone, Warwickshire, was home to Tubby Land for four years from 1997, when the kids' show peaked in popularity. But when Teletubbies ended in January 2001, the iconic hill was moved away from the set leaving just a small grassy slope. But in the years since landowner Rosemary Harding said Teletubbies diehards have flocked to the site to get a glimpse of the location. She's seen so many tourists try to take a look at the rural spot that she has now had enough, so has filled the site with water. Rosemary, 63, who now runs an aquatics shop from the site, said, We were absolutely fed up with people trespassing trying to catch a glimpse of the secluded area it was never meant to be a tourist attraction. We had people jumping fences, crossing cattle fields and all sorts, it was a nightmare for everyone. It's been underwater for a decade now and is bustling with wildlife, it's our home, and we are glad to see the back of it. This is a rural area where people enjoy the quiet life. It was never that way when the set was around. Rosemary, 63, now runs an aquatics plant and fish shop from their family farm and still welcomes the odd tourist. But little do the tourists know that over the hills and far away, Teletubbies used to come and play. Characters Tinky Winky, Dipsy, La La, and Poe were enjoyed around the world the BBC show was broadcast in 80 countries at its peak. And more than 16 years after its first airing, the one psychedelic setting designed to colorfully capture children's imagination is a watery wasteland.